Hello again everyone, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another memory plan spread. So today we are going to go through the 7th of February to the 13th of February in my happy planner. This was inspired by the lovely Sarah Scraps, who is a very near and dear close friend of mine. So if you have not checked out her channel, which I'm sure you have, check it out and see what she does because, well, she inspired me to do this, so I know she'll inspire you guys. So we're going to do it on this spread, and as always, I'm going to use my Happy Planner Punch, and, <coughs> excuse me, I do fill in all the boxes. So I punch out one, or I punch out two from each of the pages that I have pulled, and I pick one set of papers and embellishments to use for the whole month. I did that in January, and I'm carrying that on into February. So I punch out two from each papers, and one I have to punch out three, but... And I get them all stuck on there, and then we decorate. So, and that's see, like that's last week's. So uh, this week I already have all my pages printed out, and I do have another one showing how I do this. If I remember, I will link a card up here. One fourteen. I have to write that down, or I've, it takes me forever to find out where to link the cards to, which will appear right up here somewhere. So, on, uh, we've got, um, so on Monday it was my next stash smash layout. Let's see if I can get these in some sort of order. Hmm. Maybe I didn't print it out. I don't know. I'm going to have to go look. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> so let's see. My Stash Smash layout, a fun Disney layout. I guess I didn't print that one out, you guys, to be honest. Oh, there's a line through it, not highlighted. So, no, we're not going to have anything there. So, then I have the 6x6 pad, um, paper pad, the new series thumbnail, which is right here. So, I do like to document this. This is, like, basically my scrapbook, my scrappy, crafty journey through 2022, along with some random things added in. So that's it, and this was a sketch that I did. Um, I created that for the Mixing the Media 2 class, so I want to document that. This was a, um, a snap that I sent to my sister-in-law. That's my sister-in-law, that's my brother getting married, and it was like the beginnings of, uh, it'll be on the Craft O'Clock website, and then on, or not website, YouTube, and then on my channel next month in March. But I was showing her, but because I, I wanted to get her approval to use their images, and she was like, what else? Um, this also is the fussy cutting that I did for that layout, so all the prep for that. And then I've got B somewhere in here being silly as a Snapchat, I think. I'm missing some pages. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go over these and I'm going to figure out where I missed the page. So, that one we went over. This is for my budget keeping. Um, I don't want to keep that much cash on hand, so I just went ahead and made some fake money and I thought it was cute. This is my memory sped for last week. I figured I'd get that in there because you can just, I don't know. Um, B was very sick, so I made her um, boiled hamburger and white rice and gave it to her, and that helps a doggy when they have tummy issues, so that was her eating her yummy, yummy meal. FYI, put it in a bowl, not on a plate. She was like, what is this madness? And this was a layout that I did for um, the members portion of my channel. This <laughs> you have not seen yet, but I was really loving it. Um, the Mixed Media Frenzy Hop for February, which isn't until the last Friday of the month. I went ahead and created that. This is some layouts for the Craft O'Clock. My new thumbnail, also for my favorite designs where I'm pulling different designs and doing them. More prep work for the Craft O'Clock and my Brutus Monroe, the largest shaker pocket I've ever made. Um, I went and spent the day with my mother-in-law, and that's their dog, Bentley. And here's my bee. She's watching the news. Um, this one's really funny because Robbie told her not to lay on his bed, and she went, or not to lay on his spot, don't lay on his pillow, on his spot in the living room where he likes to lay and watch TV, and she went immediately and laid on it, and then I was eating pizza, and she really wanted some. So I have to go find some of these other things because I... 
feel like I'm missing the B Snapchats. And um, maybe that's just it. So maybe I didn't put that in here. So there's not a lot of photos this week, so I need to go double check and make sure. I'm going to get those cut out. I'm going to, um, they're probably, it's probably stuck somewhere in here, you guys, to be honest. Um, I also, every month, use the remnants of my, um, oh, here's these two. Um, my 1500 subscriber celebration hop will be coming up. Uh, this at the end of this month, so I think maybe we'll get that on there, and a new series that's going to come in August uh, by the lovely Kristen Crest is around the world, around the world in 30 days. So we're going to do a thir another 30 day hop, so we'll get that on there as well. But I always use up the remnants of my Coco Daisy um, planner kit, so you guys have seen it, and I pulled in the close to my heart. Pumpkin and Spice. Obviously, I can't use like the real heavily fall ones, but the color schemes, it worked. So I can't use any really of the embellishments for this um, because it's very, very fall. I mean, I don't even know if I could get any of this stuff on here. So we are just, I mean, I can get some of these wordy bits on here, I guess. But I'm going to go ahead and pick out the papers that I want to use. I have all my scraps in here, so I'll probably just use those again, punch them, and get them stuck down, and we'll come back and do a little bit of de decorating. Alright, so I've got everything stuck down. Um, I have went ahead and put a label here. Those little taggies I put up there. I did create some titles, so I just put party here, because, you know, it's like party. Um, this is B, this is Bentley. This one says the last one. Um, that was, I did create this layout for the Mixed Media Frenzy Hop in February, which will not air and I am no longer a part of. Um, little, a little tab over here, a little, a little tab and some flowers over here, some hearts, a tab up here, little florals over there. I've got fun. I, tie, I did sick on these two pictures and just a couple little things. So we're going to go ahead and add all of these down so that I can finish up uh, this layout. I do hope that everyone is having fun. I am actually getting ready to do my Stash Smash Saturday live with Jackie in right under an hour. I'm probably going to have to turn down all my phones and stuff, right? Because they're kind of going crazy. Oh, this hobby is a hobby. It is my outlet. It is my drama-free zone. So, um, I will cut and run. <laughs> if there is drama, I will cut and run. Like, seriously. Just, I'm too old. I'm too old for it. I'm 42 years old. No, that's a lie. I'm 41 because it's 22 and I won't be 42 till November. I'm, I'm too old for dramatic turns of events in my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is my happy place. So, that is what it is. These, this is the Coco Daisy um, planner. And I use this in both my planner, Bert, and my planner, and my, my budget planner. So I do use it there. Um, and then I use it for this. So, I mean, you get a lot. Uh, I know Sarah Scraps uses it in... Um, she makes 12 by 12 layouts out of it as well, so you can get a lot of traction out of these kits. And they are, that was not cool. The price point is exquisite. Like, I do not feel, like, it's, it's definitely spot on for what you get. And you get, like, you know, sometimes you get a little belly band. Sometimes you get... Um, a pin pouch. You always get a pin, which each month I I use the new pin. So this was February's pin, and it's so it's got a little daisy on top. Awesome! It is like you guys know I have like a pin thing anyway, right? Like I have a weird obsession with pins. That one is definitely one of the best pins. I love it. It reminds me of the pin gems. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Um, but it's got gel ink in it, so that's kind of cool. Um, 
it, but it is gel ink, so it has nothing to do with the pen. Gel ink runs out uber super quick. So, but she's got um, refills on her site as well, so totally doable. Okay, I messed up. I felt like I had another one, but I guess I didn't. Didn't I? Yes. Hold, please. Because I, I don't want to use the same one. Let's grab this little guy. I will apologize if you hear my kid in the background. I have got to go tell him up because I'm getting ready to go live and he is gaming hardcore in there. Children. I almost did it. I was like, wait, what? I also took um, the beautiful washi tape, which, yes, is like my favorite washi tape each month. I have not been let down. This is my third. No. This is my second kit. I've got the third one already. Because I have marches already. Beautiful. I have, I've literally not been disappointed once. And you guys know I get disappointed a lot sometimes in my kits. Alright. Oh, come on. Okay, so that is going to do it for today's memory plan. And I like how I use the same kits and the same stuff to decorate so that each month it's very cohesive. I really liked the way that January's looked and February's is starting to look the same. So I'm going to go in there and I will kind of um, just document just a little bit. You know, I was really proud of that spread. Um, B... I'm actually, this one's going to be for B getting sick, and this is going to be for that, and this is going to be for that, and this is going to be for that. Just to kind of explain things, because there are like a few things that when I come back and look at this, I'm going to be like, what was I doing? Why? Why? You know what I mean? Like some things, like, but some things I'll be like, well, it's B. You know, I really liked my large shaker pocket. Clearly she's sick because she's eaten. It really does look like um, powdered sugar covered brownies, but it's not. It's ground beef and white rice, and it's all boiled. And if your doggy has a tummy ache, my dog's 75 to 85 pounds, so she's she's a big one. Um, so I give her one cup of rice and a pound of hamburger. Or is it one cup of rice? I think it's equal parts. So one cup rice, one cup hamburger. But I think I gave her more hamburger because it was already out. But within 30 minutes, she was completely better. Like, total better dog. Her tummy was no longer hurting. She was no longer sick. She was running around and playing. So, But you have to boil it. Don't fry it. But it's something with that mixture. When it gets in their belly, it absorbs the acids. And I knew she was sick because, you know, dogs, naturally, when they don't feel good, they go and they eat grass to make themselves, you know, get rid of the, the sick in their stomach. And it's winter time and there's no grass. And she was frantically looking for grass. So I boiled that up for her and she felt fabulous. Um, but we no longer, I no longer give her a little taste <laughs> of anything. And she was very upset with me. Just saying. She's been upset with me since the 10th. Today's the 19th. We're working on our relationship. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. I'm going to go ahead and fill that out. And I will see you guys next week with another memory plan. Thank you for coming. Bye.